Okay, we've got the housing all cleaned up. I've run a tap through here, cleaned up some burrs, got this thing ready to go. I've got uh, some GMCs here, all cleaned up. Hit them with a wire brush on the inside. And uh, you can see we'll have a little bit of scarring right in here from the uh, plasma cutter, but we're gonna hit that with a uh, die grinder and get that smoothed out. You wanna make sure that the bores on these, as well as down inside of here, you see a few little dig marks from the plasma and some leftover slag and stuff. You wanna make sure that you get all these little burrs completely removed so that when you go to put the tube in there, you don't have any hangups. Uh, failure to do that will uh, will cause you a great deal amount of headaches as this is a very tight fit. Um, also sitting here, you'll see I have a stick of three inch OD, 500 wall tubing. And uh, this is what we wanna use. Yeah, it's kinda important to notice that uh, the, the tubes that come on these axles are not a true three inch OD. They're 290 something, so what you have to do is uh, basically cut them to the length you need and you'll have to turn you know uh, a collar on the end of it to uh, prepare it to go into the sleeve and and also you'll have to cut on the ID of it a little pocket for your axle seal to go in and that's gonna sit back in here like this and all that needs to be done on a lathe and then once you determine the length of axle that you want for whatever application you're using you press them in there or drive them in hammer them in uh, sometimes you could get a piece of uh, like one inch all thread and try to pull them in by putting a couple big flat plates and a piece of all thread through the middle and then put an impact wrench on it and pull them in that way um, I've done this a couple times and I use the drive method it takes three dudes and a bunch of muscle and sometimes a torch, but it uh, seems to work pretty good. Um, it's also important to notice that on the other end of the tubes, these will not fit on a three inch. So you need to turn this down on the outside. Oh, about the thickness here is probably inch, inch and a half and you need to turn that so that when you get your tubes installed in the housing it comes time to set your pinion angle and weld your C's in um, that they go right on here and they should fit fairly snug and then uh, once you get it under the truck get your pinion angle and caster angle all determined uh, you can do a final welding on those um, the axle we're building is going to look like this this is the same exact thing um, and here you can see where we turned the uh, tubes down to fit in here. And then it gets re-welded here at the original rosette holes. And then your C's get welded up on the end just the way GM did. So when it's all said and done, you end up with, uh, in, in this case, this is a, basically an exact copy of a low pinion GM axle, uh, except with a high pinion Ford pumpkin on the passenger side. The one we're building will be identical to this in every way. So here's the parts and pieces for it. I'm gonna explain this to you now because once we get in the machine shop, it's probably gonna to be too loud to uh, show you what we're doing.